Greetings, YouTubers, artists. Mike Pintar here from beautiful Central Florida, USA. I'm about ready to start a little painting of these shrimp boats that I visited recently uh, around the northern part of Florida on the Atlantic Ocean coastline. So, what have we got going? <clears throat> that was one of the photos that I took. Uh, it was really a, an excellent little day. Um, but this is the one I'm going to go with right here. I like the angle. Uh, extended the, uh, the photo, the source a little bit to match up with my canvas. Let's talk about the canvas. I've got 36, 48. 36, 48? Yep. I hate the lighting in this studio, but this is what I've got. I've got this big old spot. I've got my natural light back here. That's, that's it. Uh, I've got my daylight overhead. Uh, shadows. Anyway, big canvas uh, primed. Primed with Gamblin oil painting ground. It's got a nice, can't see it, nice smooth finish on it. Uh, it takes about a week for that to dry once you put it down. And then I've drawn this up um, over it with charcoal. Just a light sketch. Matches the little sketch I did here. Worked up a couple different angles. Uh, this one here. And uh, anyway, this little book is a wave sketchbook. You use a, a special pen and you can throw this in the microwave after you're all done. Or first of all, you can upload all the uh, sketches by scanning the barcode with your digital camera phone. And then throw it in the microwave and it erases everything. And you've got a brand new sketchbook to work with. So anyway, that's called the wave sketchbook. What am I going to do then? I did a little baby mock-up to see how it might go color scheme wise and basic layout uh, 9 by 12 so yeah I kind of I kind of get it. it it should work should work something like that palette color palette so it looks like I'm going to go with the cobalt blue central theme here it looks very similar to it could cover a lot of ranges of colors here with this basic uh, color so I'm going to go with that I use uh, Rembrandt um, and Winter Newton exclusively for these and um, my first step then will be to kind of do a little sketching a couple quick uh, turpentine uh, rectified turpentine washes just to kind of pencil some things in a little more clearly make sure the drawing is right make sure the composition is going where I want it to go and uh, we'll take off from there so uh, new painting I'll comment as we go and thanks for watching
so where are we at here? I've got about uh, two hours into this sky and uh, it, it's coming along. I have to admit that putting down the oil ground um, and making that surface very smooth, the paint tends to wipe off very easily. Um, I'm using uh, rectified turpentine for the most part as a slight dampening agent and then uh, cleaning up with OMS but it just the paint doesn't stick to the canvas as well could be me definitely could be me don't know what I'm doing but uh, so that's where I'm at I've got to get to, I'm inside so things tend to be a little darker I'm putting together a couple of uh, grays here. I've mixed up a alizarin with uh, ultramarine and then mixed up a cobalt blue light with terra rosa and tinted those two down to try to get uh, a couple of lighter grays so I prefer to use the uh, I also add a little bit of uh, Viridian to this guy too um, to get some type of gray yesterday's work again this is the morning after so it's been sitting here overnight uh, scraped together a pile kind of making it a mother color of uh, this blue so yesterday's palette was scraped down to put that together and I tinted that back to give me a little bit of a another bluish gray so that's what I'm trying to get to um, there is that general feel for the clouds and I just want to lighten up a few areas and we'll start moving on from there
All right, all right. Well, moving, moving along here. Um, spent a fair amount of time on the hull and the boats, and uh, got a couple of uh, drawing issues I'm going to need to take care of uh, with this area right in here. In here, got some value problems there. The windows are a little bit out of alignment. Uh, this line, this whole plane is is wrong, so I'm gonna have to correct that. Uh, I think technically it has to be drawn accurate uh, to get a letter, a little better feel for that area. Uh, I think I got the reflections pretty good with the hulls. A yeah, little, little bit of color thrown in for good measure. Um, couple corrections here to make on the the dock um, drawing wise and then move into the the mast area um, the nets and all that good stuff don't want to get too carried away uh, throw in some of the lines and uh, those the lines that are connecting it to the pier etc and then uh, just the details but I want to get the, the hull correct before I go much further All right, well, uh, I think I've reached the end of the line here. This was the painting, well, the reference photo that I worked from. Uh, just a quick summary on some of the tools that I used. I use a, a mixing knife primarily. Uh, this big blade, I like that for mixing colors uh, on the palette first. And I've got a, a collection here of rosemary brushes. Uh, number 10 sable and uh, the zero for the fine detail right at the end uh, what's this guy here this is a Utrecht 12 sablet so a synthetic sable flat and then two other rosemary's uh, six and an eight um, those are flats and uh, really like those for um, you know, creating some nice fine details. And then the big, uh, one of my favorite flats is this uh, 16 from Rosemary. Uh, I did throw in a couple strokes with the fan, but those are the, the number four fan, Robert Simmons. Those are the brushes I used. Um, it's pretty much stick to, stuck to the palette that I wanted with the color scheme of uh, cobalt blue being the base cobalt blue light so Rembrandt uh, ultramarine cobalt blue viridian trans red oxide not much of that um, the terra rosa cad red and uh, alizarin yellow ochre light cad yellow deep and then a little bit of cad lemon so those were the selection of colors um, I used a lot of grays were <clears throat> mixed up by using complements, and uh, so that's the tool set. Uh, go and take a look here at what happened in the end. I'll walk through my house, out of the studio. This is my little studio. Lighting is terrible, and uh, put it on the wall. See how it looks framed up. So here it is. I got 24, 36. All framed up, ready to go. So it, it turned out uh, turned out pretty good. Try to get my shadow out of there. Lots of masting detail at the end. Uh, but I like the subtle, it's kind of a low-key, uh, cloudy day, and uh, I think I'll, I don't know what I'll name it, high tide, low tide. I might come back and just drag a light glaze over that, over those names to kind of push them back a little bit. Um, they kind of stick out, but... Uh, 
all in all, but to do 10, 8, 10 hours of, of brush time on this one. So hope you enjoyed it and if you like, subscribe and I'll keep trying to put up more painting videos. Thanks. Well, after further review, I thought I was done, but I had it on the wall framed up and I think I've got some value problems. Mainly with this foreground water and all this water in through here. Here's the photo. And I this back here, the sky looks okay. The background, a uh, land mass, doesn't bother me as much. That water right here, pretty close, but as we get down into this area and beyond, this needs to be light, uh, darkened up. Um, it would help the boats pop. On the wall it just seemed too, uh, everything too light. So I'm going to glaze um, this area in through here with uh, some shade of greenish, purplish, whatever. But I need to correct the values, and we'll take a look after then.